Ever wanted to know more about the dwarf and the witch in Stardew Valley? Well, hold on to your straw hats, because we're about to uncover their secrets and see what happens after we invite them to live with us. Let's get into it! While the dwarf and the witch prefer solitude, we are undeterred in our pursuit of forging connections with them, and head over to the mines and swamp to introduce ourselves. It's time to find love in the most unlikely of places. I love that we treat Stardew Valley like Bachelor in Paradise. If it breathes, we can date it. I will get to you. <sighs> Nothing could keep us apart. Ooh, piece of paper. Dwarf shop opening hours. Always, 24-7. Come buy cave stuff at good prices. I hate buying cave stuff at bad prices. Hey, you're pretty good at mining for a human. <laughs> Wait, there's a note on the table. <clears throat> Dear Krobus. If I see you anywhere near the mountain again, I will come down there and beat you for real, and the wizard will not be able to help you this time. Come here and fight me, you big ugly- The letter is unfinished. Looks like the dwarf's pencil broke from too much angry scribbling. They got beef? <laughs> when- when- when ya- ya boo got some anger issue. It's okay. I can fix them. I should really fire my henchman. Where is he, anyway? Um... Nothing could stop me from loving you. Not That's even a fair henchman. question. He just left. <laughs> yeah, where is he? <laughs> he took that void mayonnaise and he retired. You've never seen a Smaluanu before, have you? That was all he had to say to me. I'm sorry I can't pronounce. <laughs> I keep sorry. I... <laughs> because you got your degree and you know everything. Have you spent much time with Rasmodius? I don't miss him, honestly. And why you asking, baby girl? The third time you meet someone, you're like, have you spent a lot of time with my ex? It's dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things from my shop to ensure your safety? <laughs> you could ensure my safety. Ray is hitting the sack. I feel like I'm safer than that sack that she's hitting. I don't know. I like to support small businesses. <laughs> what does this do? Why do you keep coming back here? Are you interested in me or my statues? I'm interested in you. I couldn't care less about these statues unless you made them. And if you made these statues, then I care a lot about them, but not quite as much as I care about you. One day you'll have to tell me about this beverage you call milk. No, this is why this is why I'm going to take them to the farm and we're going to live together. We're going to get them cow's milk. Yeah, look, look how small they are. It's because it's because they don't drink milk. Drink your milk. It don't grow strong like me. Strong girl like you could whip him off his feet. Sweep him off his feet. That's that's the <laughs> Whip him off his feet. <laughs> Get up, dirtbag! <laughs> My customer came over at 5 a.m. this morning. I'm so tired. Look, I can, I, you can, you can take a nap, you can take a nap on my, on my leg, I can sit down, you can take a nap, no? Okay. Why won't you love me? That escalated really quickly. I have attachment issues. Oh my gosh, what if she's waiting for you in my bed? Ahaha. <laughs> That'd be crazy, maybe you should check. <laughs> At least you're not overreacting. Listen. I'm sorry I've been so rude to you. It's just been so hard since my breakup with Rasmodius. This curse just makes me so angry and out of control all the time. Rasmodius. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you forgive me? Of course, I understand. Or absolutely not. You are a horrible person and I, you don't deserve my forgiveness. Thank you. I appreciate that. Maybe one day, I'll stop cursing your farm. <laughs> You've been doing what? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. You're back, you visit so often. Um, um, yeah, I, I don't know if that's smart for me to do anymore. <laughs> Every moment you distract her is a moment she's not cursing our livestock. I got all this stuff from the surface. I just take it from your people during the night. Hmm? What? what is this concept you call private property? You're not a spy sent by the shadow people, are you? I'm keeping my eye on you. Oh, <laughs> you're keeping their eye on me. Oh. oh. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I caught their eye. Human food intrigues me. Is it true you drain the juices from other animals to drink? They're Maybe intrigued they by like farm food. life. <gasps> Would you? We you you'd help? love to. You'd love to live on live on the farm with me and the cows. Rhea, you're here. Listen, I think it's time I tell you about my curse. I'm interested. So, as you know, when Rasmodius and I broke up, I was cursed. But there's more to it than that. You see, at the time, I was working on some new spells. They were incredibly dangerous spells, so I had been trying to finalize them. I guess I was focusing too hard on them because Rasmodius was feeling neglected. So, when I returned home one evening, he told me he had enough. Without thinking, I uttered one of my new spells in anger. But it wasn't ready yet, and it backfired. So, I turned green, and I'm filled with this rage that I just can't do anything about. Sometimes it gets completely out of control. And I guess that's when I must curse your barns. I'm sorry. Simply don't curse my barns? Maybe one day there'll be a cure. M maybe I don't know. I think I jumped the gun with the why won't you love me? Rain, it's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. Aww. That's so sad. We can make it rain every day. We have that power. Yeah, I will make it rain, okay? I'm a very... I'm a very wealthy individual. <laughs> I'll just buy a weather machine. Have you met the Junimos? We used to be friends before my curse. But what did you do to the Junimos? Why would... Why would you hurt them? Junimos discriminate? Huh. I thought they were better than that. It's because she's greed, isn't it? Pretty dangerous place, these mines. You're gonna need some supplies. I've got bombs and I've got lollipops. Best kind. Candied cave carrot. I'm sold. I'm sold. Take all my money. Take take it all. Know. What? I, what? I feel most comfortable underground. The deeper underground, the better. Okay, you say that, but you're like... <laughs> Two feet away from the door. I recently revisited my old spellbook. I've been learning more and more about my curse and what caused it. I haven't quite figured out how to get better, but I don't think I'll lose control anymore. Hopefully you won't be visited anymore in the night on my rampages. But what if I want to be visited in the night by you? <laughs> I guess this means I won't be making any more midnight visits. Well, unless you want me to. Oh. <laughs> We found ourselves immersed in cutscenes that unravel the mysteries surrounding our newfound friends. As we continue to weave the threads of friendship, we realize that the dwarf and the witch aren't as unsociable as they first appeared. <gasps> oh, the dwarf! <gasps> oh, they're in town. <gasps> ah, Dilute, you startled me. They broke a pot. Sorry it was an accident, or are you stealing from Lewis? Are you that is none that is none Lewis? of my business. I do not see. Oh, they made a little happy face. It was ugly anyway. No big loss. <laughs> Bam. But hey, maybe watch where you're going next time. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. And now it's broken. Poor thing. Hmm. Maybe I can fix it. Oh, they picked it up. Stay safe, friend. Oh, we're friends. friends. He doesn't just care about your wallet. Uh, oh, that was so cute. I'm gonna pass out. Thanks for visiting so often. Okay, okay, that's it. That's the entire thing. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. But I am upset with you. Hello, friend. Hey, I fixed the pot. It's still very ugly. You can have it. Oh. <gasps> He also said that you were a friend! Ah! This is a W. Wait, that's so cute! W. This is now my most prized possession. Fall is my favorite season. It's so spooky. I feel like I can be myself. 
You can always be yourself around me, baby girl. I would never judge you for your spooky. I like myself a witch girlfriend. Wait, I just realized her name is Hazel because of witch Hazel. <laughs> Friend. These stars, the real stars, they make me feel so small, so nothing. Sometimes I wonder, friend, are there more like me out there? <laughs> yeah. There are? You must take me, friend. Take me to visit. Aww. Of course I will. Aww. Da dot dot. Meet you on the beach tomorrow at dusk? <gasps> of course, friend. Yes, I will. Oh, I'm the Rizzly Bear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the stars are so pretty. This is evoking emotions I didn't know I had. Rhea, you came. Oh, good, you brought the shard. Yeah. Unprompted, too. Crazy. I'm a mind reader. Thank you. I guess I should tell you why I need this. I've been studying more, and I found a way to cure my cure my curse. I've also not found a way to cure my illiteracy. Okay, I think it's working. I'm not sure how long it, this will take, but come back and see me tomorrow. No, <gasps> she's not green anymore. Ah. Oh. Hello, my queen. I did my apprenticeship for this old witch who threw the best Halloween parties. Okay. There was no cutscene. Cutscene. She's just not green anymore. I'm going. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. They're so small. Alex, you better get. Th <laughs> hey, kid, are you lost? <laughs> they're not a kid. Cool hat. All right, Alex, you can pass. Get out. I'll let you <laughs> live this time, buddy. Friend. Aww. They seem so happy to see me. Friend, I'm so glad to see you! I was right. So this is what you people call a boat? It's moving up and down. This is weird. <laughs> oh god, Jolie Fish is here. <laughs> Not long now, youngin. You'll be okay. Thanks, Jolie Fish. Oh? We're on the boat. Oh no. The ground's still moving. Have fun, Jolie Fish. Look after the youngin, Jolie Fish. I'll be doing some night fishing, but be back before midnight if you want to ride home, Jolie Fish. Okay, Jolie Fish. Let's go. <gasps> this is an ancient Smoluanu stronghold. I can feel it. I am scared. <laughs> it is filled with monsters. I came prepared, yes. Oh, oh my gosh, they have a bomb. <laughs> oh, we blew something up. This is fun. Who goes there? Oh, it's the other dwarf. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. Oh. They're staring at each other. We've much to talk about, friend. You should go home before you fall asleep on your feet. I don't do that! I think I can find the way back to my cave. Didn't we come here by boat? How are you gonna do that? <laughs> it's been long years since I've seen any of my kin. Aww. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. I am a little worried that they're not gonna make it home. <laughs> Hopefully they're a good swimmer. I wonder if the reason I was so drawn to curse your farm was because I knew one day we'd end up together. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Well, you know. It's kind of um, toxic. Yeah, that's... That's... You, you need to work on that. But I can't stop listening. <laughs> Sometimes when it rains, I sneak out to listen to the female with the amethyst hair. Aww. There's magic in her music. It makes me think of home. Oh, I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Abigail, I'm totally not gonna... 
No crimes will occur. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's time to charm their socks off and woo them to join us on the farm as our treasured roommates. Hello, my once green queen, my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend, witch wife, maybe. If you say yes, that is. <gasps> dot 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 exclamation point. Ah, I accept. I am so happy. Me too. Oh, we can't kiss. <gasps> no. Premarital kissing. I don't do that. Hello, friend. Want to join me for a while? I could rustle you up a cave carrot smoothie. <gasps> okay, that actually sounds bomb. That sounds dope. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> It's a dwarf bracer. Ooh. Here, here you go. Have this. You have lots of stuff, yes? I think I'll enjoy living with you. <laughs> Just getting my stuff together. I'm going to need a few more sacks. Oh, we're gonna live together! And He's they so may or may not trinkets. steal my things. He likes your trinkets! Your trinkets! My trinkets! <gasps> Wait, the dwarf <gasps> moved in! I have the the witch room. <gasps> I didn't get a wedding. That's fine. Look at their rooms! There's weapons in here. Oh, <gasps> I have a teleport waypoint. Oh, sick. Where did I go? <laughs> Where am I? It was actually the meat grinder. I fell into the meat grinder! Hello, little one! So this is the great outdoors then. Well, it's big and full of bugs. You know, I'd Fair rather room. be inside. <laughs> oh, we get a little friendship oh, hug! So oh, so cute! Oh. I love the you, wedding, Platonic. I'm just taking in some fresh air. I hope I'm not in your way. You would never be in my way, queen. Don't you dare apologize for that kind of thing. You should expand the house. Maybe add a henchman or two. You're so right. We'll get ourselves some bodyguards. They're in the corner. Blair witching. <gasps> hey, friend. I thought I might make some bombs today. Uh, oh, don't look so worried. I never accidentally blow anything up. Well, almost never. I, for one, feel very secured. <gasps> hey friend, I found something you might like. What? It's not my fault people just leave stuff lying around where anyone could find it. Oh, my little kleptomaniac. Oh. <laughs> Are you monster hunting today? Here, this might help. You gave me monster musk. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarf just said, do you have any wood you're not using? I want to make a step ladder. <laughs> I love seeing all the plants you grow. You work so hard. Yes, I grow these. Yes. Your cave's pretty cool. Not as roomy as mine, of course, but less chance of being eaten by monsters. So that's a win. Ah. Little buddy. Thank you so much for watching. Would you befriend these two if you could? Until next time.